I'd go to the moon in a nanosecond. Uh, the problem is we don't have the technology to do that anymore. We used to, but we uh, destroyed that technology and uh, it's a painful process to build it back again. Apollo computer had 32K of fixed memory and 2K of erasable. That's, that was it. No screen, no sound, no icons, no, no nothing. Just, it, and the, the keyboard just had, oh, I, it had zero through 10, read, clear, and enter. No graphics, no screen, no. Uh, on its best days, it couldn't get to one megahertz. <laughs> so it was slow and weak, but it got its there. I haven't uh, uh, seen anything that indicates the telemetry data is even in existence, and as I said, even if we had it, we don't have the machines to play it back. Right, we, we've been unable to, to, to track it down. I mean, we don't know uh, where this, this telemetry data ended up, and we don't know the, what, what path it may have taken. So, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm afraid I can't really give you much of a clue as to, as to where this data ended up and whether it, it still exists or NASA not. NASA admitted that it had lost, lost the original footage of man's first steps on the moon. The most heralded, most famous achievement, accomplishment of mankind, of humans, the landing on the moon, NASA lost everything. They're claiming there's, there's nothing in their archives, nothing in storage, nothing in a cardboard box someplace that has anything to do with the Apollo missions. Um, it's all gone.